Hey guys, I'm Tor here, back with another Lost Cove video, and today we're gonna be checking out all of the essential mountain biking specific tools you need to put in your first toolbox. Also, yes, I did manage to do a bit of a number on my wrist slash forearm area, so you won't see any riding from me uh, on the channel for a little bit, but the show must go on, so let's get into this stuff. Now, this video today is going to be pretty straightforward, and we'll be just going over all of the tools that you'll need to do basic surfaces on your mountain bike to keep it running in great shape. Investing some money in tools is the best upgrade you can make to your mountain biking experience, and it'll actually save you lots of money in the long run. Of course, you can always take your bike into the local mechanic, but if they're booked out a few days or if you're just trying to save a little bit of cash, then having some tools and some know-how will get you about the same result. You can also get the added satisfaction and understanding of how your bike works a bit better, which definitely gives me some confidence out on the trail when I'm riding my bike. Well, let's just get into it. The first and the most important tool for just about any repair on a mountain bike is a good set of metric Allen wrenches. I'd say about 90% of the bolts on your bike will be between a two mil and an eight mil Allen wrench. So a good set of L handle Allen wrenches will allow you to remove and install the majority of parts on your bike. Also, You'll need a T25 torch wrench to get to some other bolts like uh, the rotor bolts or some models of brakes have T25 on them. And because you'll be using your Allen wrenches so often, I recommend getting a good quality set instead of something cheap like something from Harbor Freight just to avoid rounding off bolts and getting yourself into even more trouble. And seriously, if you ignore everything else I say in this video, just make sure you have Allen wrenches because they are on literally every part of your bike. Next up, we've got tire levers. And you may already have some cheap ones laying around, but when it comes time to mount up some thick casing tires or install some inserts, then you'll be much better off with something a little more sturdy. These Pedro's levers are a classic tool and have stood the test of time and have been the tire lever gold standard for years now. But if you're looking for something with a little more pizzazz, then Kushcore's bead dropper tool is my favorite version of the tire lever because you can get quite a bit more leverage with a little handle when you're trying to wrestle that tire onto the bead. Our next item is something that's often overlooked, but is a part of every single mechanics workstation. And that's a repair stand. While you can get some basic repairs done while flipping the bike upside down or leaning it against a wall, the repair stand allows access to every part of the bike and it's really a must have for anyone who's really trying to fix their bike. Anytime I work on my bike at home, I'll throw the bike up in the stand. Even if I'm just making a small adjustment on the drivetrain, you can bet that it's going up there. Another overlooked item is a high quality grease. This will keep everything you install running smoothly throughout its lifespan, and it'll keep your rig creak-free for just a little longer. Usually, if something on my bike is creaking, a quick clean and re-grease does the trick, and you can go back to enjoying the sounds of nature. You better be pumped up, because we're talking about pumps. Before every single ride, you'll want to double check and top off your tire pressures, as they'll inevitably lose a few PSI overnight. A quality pump will give you a more accurate reading, but as long as it just gets air in the tire, just about any pump will do. But enough about air in your tires, let's talk about air in your suspension. For those of you with air suspension, which is like 99% of us, a shock pump is a necessity. Because your fork and shock run at a much higher pressure than your tires, this is a separate tool from the floor pump that we looked at earlier. And this is super key for anyone who's trying to get the most performance out of the suspension that they can, and especially if your rides include some big changes in elevation, which can really have a big effect on your air pressures. Drivetrains are expensive, so how do you make them last as long as possible? Well, use this little dude. This chain checker measures how much your chain is stretched, and by replacing it before it gets too stretched, you can keep that expensive cassette out of the trash for way longer. There's a couple different styles of chain checkers, but a solid one like this is all that you really need to get the job done. I found that replacing my chain when it's 0.5% stretched to be a good balance between keeping my drivetrain happy and going through way too many chains. But when you're installing those fresh chains, you are going to need a chain breaker to size your chain correctly, so we're just gonna add one of these to the list as well. One final thing we'll mention is a spoke wrench, which can keep your wheels running straight for way longer than it otherwise would. I'll usually give my spokes a quick squeeze every so often just to make sure nothing's rattling loose. And I'll usually have to put a quarter turn or so on several spokes. 
Just keeping it up on your spoke tension will keep your wheels stronger and straighter for longer, so it's really a no-brainer to pick up one of these little guys. Well, that's about everything that we would put in our beginner toolbox. Just one thing to note is that a nice multi-tool can also perform quite a few of these actions, and it's definitely a worthy addition to any toolbox. But just having the dedicated tool for the job makes a world of difference. Also, this is just a starting point, and as you get deeper into the sport, your tool collection will keep growing when you decide you need to bleed your brakes or replace your frame bearings. I know that I'm personally a lot more likely to wrench on my bike if I've got the proper tools, and I'm sure that some of y'all feel the same. If you need any of the tools that we just talked about, then head over to thelosco.com, where you can get free shipping on any order in the United States over $49. Thanks for watching the video and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if this helped you out or if you just like mountain bikes. See ya!